welcome to Man That's Cooking. In this video, we're going to show you how to make oven roasted brisket. Oh, this is delicious beyond belief. And it's easy to make. It's just like a pot roast. So what you want to do is start by cutting up three carrots. And you want to have three stalks of celery as well. Now what's important is you want to dice these up. You want to cut them into smaller bits after you slice them up. Now if you like more carrots, more celery, why not? Go ahead and add them. Three's the base and uh, go ahead and dice up what you got as the base. Next we're going to finely slice two white onions. Next you're going to wash and de-stem eight ounces of white mushrooms and then just slice them up as thinly as you possibly can. So if you hate mushrooms obviously this is optional. If you hate any of this stuff obviously it's optional. But now it's time to address the beef. This is a 5.5 pound brisket flat. It's prime. And what man's doing here is using a boning knife and removing these chunks of fat and silver skin. Now, is this necessary? Oh no, you can, you can chew and chew and chew and let your dentures fall out if you like chewing. But what this does is it removes a lot of stuff that's really chewy. And man here is using a Victor Knox boning knife. And all you gotta do is just slice a little bit between the meat and the fat or the silver skin and pull it up. And that's that. And then once you do that, go ahead and slice off any little tidbits. Or, you know, you can leave that if you want. So this fat cap is almost perfect. But you might end up with a fat cap that's got some really hard fat. It's going to be just solid and you want to trim it off like this. So this is just an example. There's no reason to have trimmed this in the first place. Just giving you an example of what to do. Uh, but wherever you would feel around and find any really tough, solid feeling fat, you'd want to trim it down a little bit with your boning knife. Or you can leave it and you just have a whole bunch of fat on one side of your brisket. But if you get that nasty hard white fat, you know what to do. Trim it off. Alright, once you clean up your brisket, next thing to do is throw down a binder. We're going to use olive oil. And then just a salt and pepper kind of mixture right here. You can use whatever seasoning you like. You can go really heavy with seasoning on a brisket it can take it or you could just go kind of medium uh, like man's doing here he's got kosher salt and a heavy grain black pepper this is kind of used for barbecue but it'll do just fine for this okay the next step is to brown this brisket we're gonna put it fat cap down drop it in away from you and have some oil in there grapeseed oil is the best if you don't have that uh, it doesn't matter. You can do avocado oil, you can do veggie oil, olive oil. But put it fat cap down first because that's going to put even more grease and oil into the pan. And when it's time, and you want to cook this for about two to three minutes per side, go ahead and flip it. And uh, yeah, maybe the brisket might be a little bit larger than the pan, but that's okay. Then transfer it to the roasting pan, fat cap down. And the next thing to do is to put the veggies into the pan and scrape up all that beef goodness. And we're going to add some beef broth. Two cups, in case it wasn't beefy enough. Next, we're going to add some brown sugar. And oh, by the way, all the recipe ingredients are in the comments section, as always, and on our website at mainnetscooking.com. Next, going to add some apple cider vinegar, just a little bit. And we're going to add some crushed tomatoes. Now stir everything up. Let it cook for a bit. 
And after about, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so, go ahead and add the garlic. You want to crush that garlic up and let it stay as fresh as possible. You don't want to cook it down too much. Kind of put it in towards the end. Now everything gets added to this roasting pan. And it's a little hard to do uh, if you're filming and your camera's really close to the uh, cookware. But man, figured it out. So brush a little bit of this stuff to the side, keep some on the top. And next, add, if you've got it, some fresh thyme. Yeah, about six or so sprigs. Now, this is a little bit of a pain, but you want to put two layers of heavy-duty foil onto your roasting pan. Uh, you might have seen some Dutch oven uh, versions of this recipe, and that's fine if you have a Dutch oven. man here doesn't. He's not Dutch. He has a roasting pan. So we're going to do this old school style and just cover the roasting pan with two layers of foil. When you've done that, go ahead and put it in an oven that's preheated at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. So you want to bake this for at least three hours and then check up on the progress here. And be careful when you open it, it's really hot. Use a tool. And look at this. This temp is really hot. It's 199, 204. Now typically this looks like it's done, but look look how tough the meat is when the probe goes in there. That's not a finished brisket by any means. So we're gonna add a little bit more of beef broth, wrap it up, use some hot gloves to seal it because it's hot as hell, and put it back in the oven and cook it for another hour. Now, like magic, one more hour. Now take a look at this. The temp is not over the top. It's it's roughly the same as it was an hour ago. But watch the probe go in. Oh, it goes in like butter. Butter is what you want. You don't want much resistance at all with the temperature probe. And that's when you know it's done. So you want to let this rest for at least 10 minutes, maybe more. And then remove the sprigs of thyme from the top of the brisket. Next, you want to slice the brisket against the grain of meat. So the grain of meat is going to run one direction. You're going to slice as 90 degree-ish as you can against that direction. And that's going to make for a much more tender chew in the meat. Wow, take a look at that. I mean, this is totally fall apart tender. And that is a thick slice right there. Look at that fat cap. Ooh falls right apart yeah you know that's tender that is delicious stuff right there so you may as well slice the entire brisket and you can see this one's still steaming so man probably didn't let it rest for long enough but that's okay it's already juicy and tender enough as it is wow look at that yeah this is prime baby right here it is fall apart it is melt in your mouth and it's been braised for four hours in beef stock or beef broth. It is delicious. You can't beat this flavor right here. And you saw how easy this was to make. I mean, you probably spent the most time trimming off the silver skin. And if you didn't even feel like doing that, you saved yourself some time, but you're chewing later. But that's on you. Uh, this is easy. Just takes a few hours to cook. And wow, amazing results. And this is a perfect holiday meal right here. Feeding your friends and family with this. Maybe have some sides like some potatoes, like mashed potatoes or baked potatoes. Whatever. Food porn flyover. Take a look at that. Perfect holiday meal right here. I mean, do you have to wait for a holiday to make this? No. There's no rules. Make this on your birthday. Make it on a Monday. It only takes four hours. 
Hey, well, thanks for watching this video. Hope you click like, click subscribe. Hope you try this, and if you do, let us know in the comment section how it turned out. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, eh, sometimes Twitter, but not much.